What up, Shimoto and Rockers? Today, we are going to be talking about episode 15, Saturday Night Titans, where we basically got to see about the... So before we get to the Kalinowski Bateman 2, um, I believe we had a team's match. That would be it. That's going to be it. Like, given there's um, apparently the backup team for Swag versus the apparent team of Riley, Mark Riley, and Chris Bancroft, I believe. Is it Nick Bancroft? No, it's Chris Bancroft. But anyways. Which I'm. They go by the dojo, given that they're kind of a, given the circumstance of what they are, essentially. <sighs> but the whole thing with the, that match was in it's interesting. It was more Winston doing his thing that was kind of funny, and I guess this. I kind of had a feeling that it was going to be the dojo beating Sweet Tea and oh, Sweet Tea Clee Wiggins and and then Amaru Moses finally first time in teams and poor Amaru's not been doing as well as he should but this season given everything that's happened last season but Guess how it is, I guess. Plus, I had a feeling Smash was going to be the one to hit the belt if Parker wasn't. So, that is what it is in that regard. So, <sighs> and then, I mean, it wasn't too surprising that Ben wound up getting the win. I believe against Kalinowski this time around. Given how he's played. So. And how the questions have been lately. It's kind of more favorable for him in this case. And then, But it's not like Kalinowski didn't put up a fight. Just like he did against Smash. I just feel bad that he's lost three in three divisions. Once in a row. Already. I don't know if he's going to be able to get back into that title contention at this point. I'd like him to, but to just to finally see him pull it off, but right now it'll be a different story. Now the way things are going with I think the dojo should face the next chapter the way it's looking. I do also think I'm trying to think of who else is where the team's division is going because it's just it's tougher to pinpoint with the with the direction this is season's been going in the form of Friday Night Titans. Um, but neither here nor there, I guess. So hopefully I don't look shaky to you, anybody. But anyways. I've, my thoughts are also, plus a Matrix Resurrect, Matrix question came up, so that was nice too. Um, but oh, but I, I had fun with this, I wouldn't say as much, I mean I guess I had more fun than last week's. Um, especially the banter that, or at least I was able to enjoy the banter, some may not, but Guys, let me enjoy this one, you know, for what it was. And I did, which was nice. And then there's the, I mean, most of it was a lot of build up for a lot of things. And then we find out at the end of this little pro, little end promo thing. The other stuff was just promo stuff that was just more build up to the matches being the undercard and of course the main event. Not much to talk about there necessarily. 
but when it could, but we do get in one more thing scene with Ben, and we see and finally figure out the whole situation with Danger Zone's number one contendership. And the good news, it seems Khan and fuck, I'm blanking. And Griffey Nooms are available, which means because we're because that team is gonna be what's gonna who's gonna face Danger Zone for the number one contendership. More likely because no one else was, I guess, available would have worthy enough would have been available at this point. So it would seem. Um, of the terms of like I'm trying to why am I forgetting the team name That's a, that bothers me I shouldn't forget it because they were the because of the <sighs> but anyways well that's I know it's them that they're facing so it's going to be interesting to see how that turns out against Danger Zone if Danger Zone can even bother to pull it so going through all the bullshit we'll see now how bid fares throughout this and given how the promo went with him at having to face the former champ in Lady Justice Marisol McKee so that's what Ben's going to be dealing with is with his number one contenderships so there's that <sighs> but anyways uh, it was enjoyable. Uh, at least the way that this came off, it was enjoyable. So, and somewhat entertaining for me. So, there's that. What did you guys think? There's not that much talk else to talk about, I guess. But it's, but I'm okay with it in this case. So, there you go. What did you guys think of the matches so far this week? Leave a comment below. Let me know. As always, guys, keep it random. Keep it real, keep it rocking. If you smell what the movie trivia showdown scab entertainment, it's all on itself. Scab on entertainment. Um so on and so forth. He's cooking. Ooh yeah. Description blue. To all my socials, especially Dungeon Home of the two time in Geekdom Champion, Kevin the Smasher Smith, through here. Also, like and also click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, rock the like button, press your must if you like this video, and so on and so forth. Take care, y'all.